Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to another exciting video. In machine learning, people talk about objective functions, loss functions, cost functions, like this, right? People use these terms all the time. Are they different actually or just the different names for the same thing? If they are not referred to the same thing, then what are the differences? Let's understand in this video. What do you think? Are loss functions and cost functions same? We will just keep objective function aside for a minute. First discuss about loss function and cost function. Are they same or not? What do you think? Let us see the answer. Both are different. Of course, both quantifies how wrong the model predictions are. Whatever the model you are building, either it is machine learning or deep learning, both will actually measure the error values or the deviation values. But there is a slight difference between them. Loss function is only for a single data point. Whereas cost function is for the group of data. So it is average error for the group of data. Whereas loss function means only one single point. If your training data set has, let's say, n samples, okay, or you can say 1000 samples, out of 1000, every single point will have a loss value. Whereas cost value means the average losses across the whole 1000 samples. That is what the cost function. This is the main difference between both. So loss function, as you can see, for every training cycle, for every example, we calculate one loss value. So it gets calculated many times. Whereas cost function is average of all these loss functions. So for each training cycle, it is calculated only once across all the training samples. And in loss function, those are only error terms between predicted value as well as the ground truth or the target. Whereas in cost function, along with this error values, there can be many other terms like regularization terms, or penalties, weight penalties. So there can be any other terms which are added along with the error terms. So these are the main differences between loss function and cost function. Now let us see an example. If you consider this example, it is having five data samples and these are my actual values and these are my model predictions. Now if I want to calculate the loss values, then I need to calculate the loss values between each and every example here. So if I calculate that absolute difference, then it will come like this. So this is what we call L1 loss. This is actually absolute difference between the actual and predicted values. If you see here, these are individual loss values for individual examples, different different loss values for different examples. Now if I want to calculate the total cost across the whole data set, that means all the five examples, if I want to calculate the total cost, then it will be like this. Let's suppose I want to take the average. So that is actually mean average error, which is the average of absolute differences. So whatever the absolute differences I have got here, I'm just taking the average of them by dividing by five, which will give me one single value for the total data set. So this is actually my cost function. These are individual loss values, whereas this is only one cost value. Now, as I mentioned earlier, cost function can have additional terms as well. This is for L1 regularization and this is for L2 regularization. The first term here is actually the cost function, which is the average of all the error values. Whereas the second term here is actually corresponding to regularization. So this one we call it as penalty term on the weights. So as you can see, the cost function has an additional term along with the original cost value. So whereas the loss function will not have any other additional term, it is just a simple difference between the actual and the predicted values. Now let us talk about objective function. Objective function is actually a function which we optimize. So we optimize the objective function. The objective function can be either positively oriented or negatively oriented. That means positive oriented means if the value is high, then it is good. Negative oriented means if the value is low, then it is good. So the examples are accuracy or F1 score, MAP. All these are actually examples for positive oriented values. If the accuracy is high, the model is good. Or if the F1 score is high, the model is good. Negative oriented means all the loss values. Like you can say L1 loss or L2 loss. All these are actually negative oriented. That means if the loss value is very low, as low as possible, the model is better. So objective function means we don't know what the function is. It can be positive oriented or negative oriented. And depending on the function, either we need to do maximization or minimization. That is what we generally call optimization problem. Optimization means we have to get the optimal value for a particular quantity. So that optimal value can be the maximum value or the minimum value depending on the quantity type. Hope you got some idea about 
objective function now. Let us look at this statement. Learning the parameters for optimizing the objective function. It is too generic. We know that okay, we have to find some optimal values, but we don't know what is the objective function, whether it is a minimization function or maximization function. If it is a minimization function, then we can rewrite this as this. Learning the parameters for minimizing the cost function. And if the function is the maximizing function, like the positive oriented function, then we can write like this. Learning the parameters for maximizing the accuracy. So these two are examples. So cost function is one of the example for minimizing and accuracy or F1 score, these are some of the examples for maximizing. So the objective function is a generic term for both this minimizing, maximizing. So these are the main differences between these terms, cost function, loss function and objective function. So don't confuse between cost function and loss function. Hope you have learned something in this video. Thank you so much for watching.